Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Tractor Man 44 here. Hey, you know, you get yourself into a pickle sometimes, you know, and you got to move a dead tractor around whenever uh, a cousin decides that he wants to buy it from you. And so uh, I'm at the mercy of my much older brother. I got him on a Kubota with his uh, fancy international hat, and he's pulling around a um, Alice Chalmers B, Alice Chalmers B with a Kubota B3030. So uh, I'm going to let you see he's happy and smiling. There we go. There's the B3030. There's a much older brother. Wave at everybody. Yeah, there we go. Those internationals don't fail. Uh, him and his doggone internationals. I don't know what got into him. And here's our little bee. And in the background, you can see an old Oliver 77. It's dead, too. Well, actually, it runs, but just not too good. It's a party. This little guy has gotten stuck sitting there over the last few years. So we're trying to bounce loose a little bit. We've got diesel fuel down the cylinders. Like I say, we got some diesel fuel in the cylinders and it shouldn't be stuck that bad, but it sounds like it is. But it's not a big deal. My cousin's going to uh, totally strip it down to nothing and uh, totally rebuild everything from stem to stern. Usually, usually they break loose by now. Okay, well, we're here by the shop now, so I'm going to go ahead and air the tires up, get, uh, get to where the wind will stay in them for a while, and uh, go about the business of getting the engine a little bit better prepared to soak down a little ways. All in all, this is actually a pretty good tractor. We cut grass with it, several acres of grass with it for a number of years, and let it set for the last, I don't know, three or four years or so, I don't even know, 60-inch uh, woods finish more it's converted to a delco three wire 12 volt system and it uh, it works fine and like i said the tires are in excellent condition the rims are nice though i never really cared for the automotive front tires and it was quiet just as quiet as could be whenever it run it's still got the shutters on the in on the radiator even though it's missing the crank here on the outside of it and of course it's a distributor governor everything worked fine no problem with the starter motor. Hydraulics work fine too, except for they would bleed off. The weight of the mower would go ahead and uh, let it go ahead and fall. Now what this is, if you take a look at that front axle, this is what they call a bow axle B. There's another one back up there on the left. That one's not stuck, but that one's got a blown head gasket or a bad head gasket. But at any rate, this is what they call a bow axle B, and it's very, uh, very much sought after. Guys that like to just take these bow axle Bs and they'll turn them upside down. That takes a little bit more work to do, but they'll turn them upside down and even the final drives turn those upside down and they, um, they, they like to make low riders out of them and paint them all up nice and pretty and put fancy wheels on them and take them to car shows. And they really are pretty neat. Uh, a lot of guys scream and holler and don't, uh, don't like that. I don't particularly care one way or another. Now what I'm doing, I pulled all the spark plugs out because I don't happen to have any acetone. What I'm doing, I'm mixing a little bit of straight gasoline down in the cylinders to kind of start going around the pistons and, and everything. And then I'm gonna dump this uh, diesel fuel, this regular uh, regular diesel fuel right in on top of the uh, the gasoline. The gasoline is a lot thinner and it'll uh, kind of work its way down around the pistons and rings. However, even though I had a can on the top of this, an aluminum can, when I pulled number one spark plug out, I found evidence of water having been in that number one cylinder and that is not good. Water in the cylinder indicates well of course my cousin's going to take this down and totally rebuild it anyway but i uh, i had no idea that there was actually water in any of the cylinders but evidence is only in number one so that's good now that i know that it's going to have to for sure come apart we don't really have to soak this to try to get it broke loose before he picks it up but now i know there's absolutely no no doubt that the motor has to come completely apart and that's not a big deal i've got a c engine in on the engine stand right now that's uh suffering the same fate except for all four cylinders were full of water on that one there so uh, it's it's been soaking for a couple of years that one will also have to be a total rebuild so now I just go ahead and put the spark plugs back in let this set here a little while it really aggravates me how water i don't even know how water got into number one cylinder i use the uh, 
I use Pepsi Cola cans or, or Coca Cola cans all the time simply because, you know, they're aluminum and they typically don't rot out. Never really had one rust through, and I don't see any holes in this at all. So I have no idea how water got into the cylinder. So maybe there's a hole in top of the muffler or something like that, or it maybe it went around the the pipe and down around the manifold. But I had this thing under a tarp until the rot, tarp rotted away too. So that's still kind of puzzling, but no matter, it is what it is. I'll tell him everything that I know about it. And if he doesn't want it, that's okay too. I'll just save it and part it out and save those rear wheels for my CA. I've got a real good CA that's got a blown head gasket. The tires and rims on the back end of this thing here will go right onto my CA. If he doesn't want it, it doesn't matter. It can stay here for a while and uh, I'll just sell all the parts and pieces off of it and use them tires on a better on a better project. That's just about all there is to it. I got this thing ready to set and rest a while. He's gonna come out and get it in about four or five days from now. It still bothers me that their water got into it. I'm gonna have to investigate and see how that water got in there. Well, my mind went off track again. But anyway, any rate, it does bother me because I've got so many other tractors sitting around with buckets on them or whatever, you know, and I don't seem to have any issue or any problem. Now, with see, that. you and I both thought we were done with the video, but I got to relocate it, move it out of the way so I can get stuff in and out of my shed. So now that the much older brother is gone, this is how we have to move stuff by ourselves. You have to be pretty careful to make sure you don't do any damage. A lot of times you have to put a spreader bar between the chokers above the hood so you don't take any chance of collapsing any sheet metal. This will be okay once I get up this hill. It's just a small rise, not much. Gotta just park the little guy over here where it'd be easy to load whenever they come over. Just gonna turn it to the right, right here, right in behind this trailer. You're gonna see the old Alice Chalmers road grader up in there. I may have to back up a time or two, I don't know. I have to do this with both hands too. Now this will be good right here. I put the transmission in gear. Should be able to back right out of my chokers. It's actually a pretty nice little rig. And I figured out how the water got into the engine. This thing here has a muffler that if you notice the moisture right on it, I dumped some diesel fuel down the, the muffler just to go ahead and get started on it before I moved the tractor. And you can take a look and see that the muffler on this guy goes down inside the manifold. So the manifold is a, a female receptacle and the male muffler slides down into it. So that's how water got into the engine. So here he is, right in an appropriate spot, right behind the uh, the WC Alice. Be nice and convenient, easy to load up. All I gotta do is check my chokers off, and it's gonna sit here until uh, till Sunday, whenever they come by at the trailer. And so, you know what? Now this is the end of it. It's Trackman 44, and I'm out of here, guys.